When choosing an assisted living facility, memory care is often a key factor. Perhaps that's why so many people have chosen Symphony Manor in Roland Park. Hi, I'm Amber Kanabi, the Sales and Marketing Director here at Symphony Manor Assisted Living. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we are unable to film a new segment this year. Please enjoy this segment filmed in previous years. Ms. Dorothy, what are you creating? I don't know what to say. Well, the gardens are wonderful, so normally every morning we sit outside for an hour or two, and that's just a great way to start the day. Flowers. Oh boy, they are beautiful. Symphony Manor, we first opened in 2011. We have um, 71 residents that live here. We have two separate programs that we run. We have an assisted living program, and then we also have a memory care program. Both of our programs work together, and we build one community amongst our residents. We really um, try very hard to blend the community as much as we can so that no one feels like they're in two separate parts yeah, of the neighborhoods. And you're going to be getting all your daffodils. Frankly, the children put the pressure on me and said, you got to get a place for mom. And I looked at two or three large places, well respected. They always present a very glamorous situation of how many dining rooms they had in the bars and the parties and all that. And then they'd say, bring your wife in. And then they'd say, well, she's dementia. She won't live in this part of the world. And then somebody told me I should check on Symphony Manor, which was a, a blessing. So I came here, totally different approach. A couple of things that impressed me. One, everybody here needs help. So they don't have a divided interest of the independent liver, where the other people are mostly focused on the independent liver. Here, everybody had, needs help, and it's a, a single focus. We offer levels of care to all of our residents that are a, a high range. We work with people who just need a little bit of assistance and come to us for activity programs and medication management. And then we also work with people who need assistance all the way through to the end of their life. Something that's really unique about Symphony Manor is we offer assisted living and also memory care. So should somebody's needs ever progress or their dementia worsens and they're needing a higher level of care, they're already familiar with the environment, familiar with the staff, the menu, it's a very easy transition. The other thing that impressed me when you get the room, they said, make it look as much like home as possible. So we brought furniture from home. We took the pictures off the wall, put the pictures up. So when my wife, Mary Jean, wakes up now, she sees the same thing she's been looking at for 20 years at home. What really attracted me to Symphony Matter were the staff that I met. Uh, they were all very professional, very cooperative. Um, and this goes from the management down to the health aides. Yes. We have 24-hour nursing. Medication management is included in all of our levels of care. Most of the times when seniors move in, that's something that's very challenging to them is managing a kind of a slew of medications. So it's nice that that's included. It's not an extra cost. Our nurses will manage any doctor's appointments. We have a physician that comes here to the facility. Um, his nurse practitioner also comes. So several days a week, there's physician coverage here in our community. Uh, we kind of bring in any service that you could need, podiatry, dentistry, ophthalmology. We bring it all right here to you because it does get increased increasingly difficult to leave the community. I'm on the board of a nonprofit um, that works with seniors to provide them uh, services to live independently. And Symphony Manor is very cooperative in letting them have meetings and functions here. So when my sister um, had her strokes, I looked up Amber. Here at Symphony Manor, we utilize every aspect of our community. We do happy hour in our lobby, Monday through Friday from four to five. We have a movie theater where we show a movie every night after dinner. We have a bistro space, which is kind of like a club room. There's a billiard table. Um, it's where people hang out throughout the day. We also have a chapel area where we offer several different denominations as well as non-denominational services. We have a game room, an arts and crafts room, and we utilize our outdoor space whenever possible. My wife spends very little time in the room. There are a lot of activities going on and which, which is good. There is as much or as little as you wish to participate in here. We do the music and uh, the Hawaiian dancers were great this week. You know, I've had the wonderful experience of being able to build this community together. What, um, what I think is really special is that we're, we're small, um, so it, it gives 
an opportunity for me as the director here to really talk to the residents who live here. And the way we've evolved is simply by what our residents' interests are and what things they like to do. And so as more people move in, we get to know more things about them. It generates a new program that we, that we do here at Symphony Manor. Well, we love having you here too, Shirley. We actually have the ideal location. One of the reasons why we chose Roland Park is that it still has a very deeply ingrained sense of community, and that's something that was important to us. A lot of the seniors that are moving in here could stay at home, but what they're missing is interaction with their peers, they're missing people that are on their level, they're missing being a part of something bigger. So that's what we offer here in Roland Park, and especially here at Symphony Manor. Okay. Well, the uh, uh, mail me their schedule for the month, if there's any kind of problem, they'll give me a call. So I feel like the uh, communication contact's pretty good, really. People always say that the building reminds them of like a northeastern resort, and it was designed this way on purpose to fit into the community. We didn't want to stick out. We didn't want to throw a big brick building here in an older residential community. So there was a lot of thought that went into the design to make sure that it kind of fits seamlessly with the surroundings. It's funny when people come on tours, they usually call because they drive right by and didn't realize that they, that they passed our building already. It's the most beautiful place that anyone could live. We invite you to come by anytime. We can give you a tour and we would love to meet you. If, if it's a person who really needs a lot of help and attention, I would recommend this. My whole family is uh, pleased with the fact that she's here at Symphony Manor. Everyone here at Symphony Manor understands that the decision to move into an assisted living now is harder than ever. With the current visiting restrictions as well as the inability to tour in person, we understand it makes the decision more difficult. My team and I are committed to helping you make this decision and feeling safe and comfortable while doing so. Please reach out to us at 410-235-4301 or visit our website www.symphony-manor.com to learn more about the latest policies and procedures following the COVID-19 guidelines. You can also reach out to us to schedule a virtual tour and learn about our other exciting touring options. To request additional information about Symphony Manor, call them at 410-235-4301 or visit their website at symphony-manor.com.